guys, my name is Olga Sedletska and as you remember I'm dealing with international students. Today I'm in Dublin in Ireland and uh, I visit really good professional school, Alpha College of English and today let me introduce to you Mick. He's a college manager and uh, I invited him to answer some of my questions which will be really useful in and interesting to you because we are going to talk about programs in Ireland for international students uh, to improve your English skills and then we would like to tell you more about work in Ireland. So continue watching. Great. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, Mick, the first my question is, yes. uh, for how long have you been operating um, as a school and what courses do you offer for students? Okay, so Alpha has been operating for nearly 29 years, so we're coming to our 30th anniversary um, and we offer a very wide range of courses. Our main course is General English. Uh, that's the most popular course that we do. Most of our students come here to improve their General English that's what they want. Uh, our, our, by far our most popular course is our standard general English course. That's nine o'clock to one o'clock, Monday to Friday, 20 hours per week. And our courses are a mixture of a communicative type syllabus and a lot of project-based learning and a lot of digital stuff. <laughs> so so they're our most popular. And uh, uh, actually, I would like to tell some words as well that I because I had a tour around the school, and the school is located in lovely Georgian house. I don't know how many years. Uh, uh, Two hundred. Uh, it was it was built in the seventeen hundreds. You see, so it's really historic historical building and then I need to mention that so many classes and they are the same they look the same but um, teachers are very good they are really good checked and so you do not need to um, worry about the quality of education <laughs> one of the most important things for teachers here is we have very very high requirements for teachers they have to be educated to university level. Uh, they need a CELTA, which is the Cambridge qualification, or a CELT, which is the Irish equivalent of CELTA. And many, many, many of our teachers have a higher qualification, like a Cambridge Delta, or a Master's in Applied Linguistics, or a Master's in Education. We really were proud of how qualified our teaching team is. I see. And then we need to add that you work with, uh, with students of different ages. Yep. The minimum age is 16. The minimum is 16. But you have uh, really a lot of uh, ages. Well, we, we, we don't have a maximum. <laughs> <laughs> so the maximum is the, however age that you can travel to Ireland, that's the maximum. Um, our average age throughout the year is 28. Mm -hmm. um, in the summer, we also have a program called Alpha Young Adults. Mm -hmm. So that attracts younger people, 16 to 19. Um, at the moment we have, I think it's probably 60 people on that program. So that, uh, that changes our age range. Mm -hmm. So in the summer, we have 16 to 85. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing which will be really interesting to you is that you have a lot of uh, people from different uh, countries. Yeah. You have really good international mix mm -hmm. and uh, not so many Russian speakers. <laughs> I have checked this. <laughs> Even less than 6%. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. we discuss it with mm -hmm. you. Uh, and uh, I would like to ask you about the whole program work and study, sure. which Irish government uh, started a couple years ago and we would like to clarify and tell you more about opportunities. So what are the, most, what are the main requirements sure. uh, for this program? So for people who are coming to Ireland from outside the EEA, the European Economic mm -hmm. Area, uh, we have a 25-week study program. 
So that's more or less six months. Mm -hmm. And when you come to Ireland on this 25 week program, you have 25 weeks of study and then eight weeks of holiday. Mm -hmm. um, in Ireland, when you first arrive, you have to register with the government, with the mm -hmm. Immigration Bureau. That's a very simple process. Uh, you, you bring your documents, it takes about half an hour. It's all very straightforward, very easy. Mm -hmm. Then, when you're studying, you're studying for 20 hours per week. And on the particular stamp that you receive on your passport, you're permitted to work for 20 hours per week. So you can work and study for six months. Then, some people, uh, want to take their eight weeks holiday divided across their stay. So they'll study for three months, take a three week holiday, then study for one month, take a two week holiday. Mm -hmm. But some people prefer to study 25 weeks nonstop mm -hmm. and then at the end they have a two month holiday, eight week holiday, because during the eight week holiday you're permitted to work full time you're permitted to work 40 hours. So a lot of people save their holiday mm -hmm. so that they can work a lot during that, during that period. Often, not always, but often, people organize their trip so that their, their holiday time is at a good time in Ireland to find a job. And what is the best period? So the best period to find casual jobs mm -hmm. or, you know, something in the food service industry or something in uh, shops or working in retail is around Christmas mm -hmm. because we have a big expansion in services. Mm -hmm. And so that's a really good time when people come early in the year and then they're trying to find a job at the end of the year. That's a very good position. It's the easiest time to find a job. The other high period is of course summer mm -hmm. because we have a lot of tourism and a lot of people come and they need tour guides and they need shop workers and they need mm -hmm. uh, people to meet them from the airport and they need every sort of employment in the service industry. And um, I think for you guys it's really interesting uh, how much they can earn. Mm -hmm. So do you know the salary for casual workers? Yes, but only because you asked me before we recorded. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the national minimum wage in Ireland is €9.80 per hour. Yes. Um, now Ireland isn't the cheapest country in Europe, but €9.80 is enough to cover your expenses, to have some pocket money, to pay for public transport. We have quite a fair system for, for minimum wage. Uh, you, can, you can live with a minimum wage. But not every job in Ireland is minimum wage. Um, even in clothing shops or retail or restaurants, usually people earn a little bit more than minimum wage. It's, it's not automatically minimum wage. And uh, I would like to add as well, we discussed with you this earlier that of course you should pay taxes. Mm -hmm. So you cannot just uh, earn this money and that's all. You definitely need to pay tax mm -hmm. and you told me it's a, a lower tax than yeah. usual. Generally, when you are pay earning a lower salary, you, you pay less tax. So it's not very much when people are, are working close to minimum wage. In Ireland we say cash in hand mm -hmm. and it, it's illegal to work on cash, cash in hand. On cash, yeah. yes. And so please pay attention <laughs> to that as well. And tell me please, is it difficult or not at the moment uh, for international student who will come at the first time uh, in the whole life to the foreign country to find a, a job? What, how do you think, what are the main requirements? The main requirement is that you want to work hard because if at the moment in the school everybody who wants a job has a job. Mm -hmm. um, in Ireland at the moment we have a very low level of unemployment mm -hmm. uh, and we have more jobs than people. You see? <laughs> you so, need to pack your luggage! <laughs> <laughs> so if people are coming and they will spend a few weeks improving their CV, practicing their interview skills, uh, spending the time uh, sending their CVs to people and understanding that you probably won't 
get the first job that you apply for, but you don't give up. You keep trying, you take a look at your CV, you improve it. In the school we help people. Yes, and I was going to ask, mm -hmm. do you help them or not? Do you of have course, any yeah. workshops, seminars? We have, a, we have a weekly work skills, work finding skills workshop. Mm -hmm. So one of our teachers meets every week and works on CVs, cover letters, interview skills. There's not a particular program because we see what are the needs of the people mm -hmm. who are looking for work at the moment. Sometimes there are people who are looking for casual jobs or people who want a part-time job. And then sometimes there are people who have come to Ireland and they want to start a career and they're looking for a job in their area mm -hmm. with their qualification. So the workshop is different every week, but it always happens. And tell me please, uh, do you help them to find uh, any or suggest them any websites where they can find positions and th where they can apply? Of course, yeah. We, uh, we have, in Ireland, we have a, a couple of different famous jobs websites. The most famous is jobs.ie. There's also one called Monster. But you, I mean, you can check these websites there. They're very famous, they're very big. Most Irish, most Irish companies, when they're recruiting, they they put them on these websites or you know often they advertise in in the shops you just see a sign that says uh, staff needed please apply with cv and sometimes they're the people who get jobs faster the people who go from shop to shop with the cv and say hello i want to work for six months here's my cv and then very quickly they get a they get a job and uh, uh, you know, uh, I've been thinking now for some of my students who ask me for help and they're professionals, for example, 25, 28 years uh, mm -hmm. old guys. And um, they are really good, like engineers, um, people in IT sector, but uh, their English is low, like elementary, pre-intermediate, and they expect that from, every, from the beginning, mm -hmm. they can get really good uh, job. Uh, it's really difficult, is it true? It is difficult. If your English level is very low, you can't, expect to go directly into a company but six months the people who come to a school like this and work and study are the ones whose English level improves fastest and if you maybe you won't find a job in your area at the beginning yeah. but if you get four months of classes and four months of experience in an English speaking working environment, your English level will shoot up. Like it will really, it will really help you. And then you have English speaking work experience on your CV, which is really important. Yes, so what I'm trying to underline and uh, send a message to you do not expect a really good job as soon as you come if your English is low. Mm -hmm. You need to work on your English and uh, strengthen your uh, communication skills, pronunciation, uh, so uh, a, lot of, um, uh, a lot of aspects of your language. And as soon as you achieve, um, I don't know, upper intermediate advanced level, mm -hmm. you can apply and get really good job here. And I know that you have really good salaries. <laughs> <laughs> salaries in Ireland are quite high. Yes. Yes. And if you have, uh, if you are professional mm -hmm. and um, your skills, um, uh, Ireland is required. Yeah. We have a list called the critical skills list. Yes. That's a list of the type of people we need. It's mostly engineers and computer technicians and that area because you know we have a lot of major international companies who are based in Ireland but something to remember is a lot of those major international companies are based in Ireland because we speak English. So having English on a CV when you want that type of job is really 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 helpful. <laughs> And you have in Ireland, as especially in Dublin, you have a lot of companies like Apple, yes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like Google, Facebook, 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 Google is Google. here. We're kind of becoming the San Francisco of Europe. Yes. <laughs> yeah, um, it happens in the city centre, down beside the coast. 
we have our own little Silicon Valley of, of Ireland starting to form. And you do not need to fly to USA. <laughs> no. It's closer to your home as yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. And uh, do you remember prices for English courses? Because I think for, for students it would be great to know. Sure, well. uh, this is the 2019 price. But the most popular one is the 25-week work and study general English. And that's 3,375. Yes. And this is for uh, six months uh, mm -hmm. uh, study. So at, at the moment you can see that coming to Alpha College of English you can get really good professional teachers, mm -hmm. good background and helpers because uh, your teachers and school assistants they can help you with finding a job i mean with your interview with uh, um, interview preparation for example checking your cv they will not find a job for you it's very important to understand mm -hmm. it's um, your responsibility but then they will try to help you and if you are keen and enthusiastic you will definitely find it mm -hmm. i totally agree yeah that's a good summary and uh, I think we need to mention as well that you have really good host families because I had students with you. We do, yeah. We have a host family program. Um, all of our host families are visited by the school quite regularly. Uh, we get very, very good feedback there. In Dublin, families don't live in the city centre. That's one thing to remember, that when you come, when you're staying with a family, you will be 20 or 25 minutes from the city mm -hmm. centre because the city centre in Dublin isn't full of houses and apartments. The city centre is full of industry and companies. Um, so the families live a little bit further out, but if you really want the experience of being integrated and you know, absorbed into an English-speaking world, then we have host families. They, they prepare dinner, they, they help the students uh, get used to the city, they, if there's any questions, all of our host families have been with us a long time, so they know what happens in the school, they know how to get here, they're, they're fantastic. Our host families are yes, really great. And I had really uh, positive feedbacks from my students who, uh, who, have, uh, who visited the school in March. And they told me that a lot of host families, they had fireplaces. Oh, yeah. This is a cozy atmosphere. <laughs> That's totally normal in Ireland. Yeah, I would never think about saying that because it's just totally no, normal. Because it's, it's unusual for, for our country. So you have fireplace and a cozy atmosphere, dogs, cats, yeah. Yeah. and they treated you as a part of the family. And Irish people, they're very friendly. This is true. So thank you very much for your time, for sharing this information with us, with me, with my students. And I hope uh, um, a lot of students, they will come. And if you have any questions, you can contact me about the school, about prices, uh, about any information about Dublin itself or the requirements about visa application. And I would be glad to help you in the future and uh, hope one day you will come to Dublin and stay with Alpha College of English. If this video was very useful for you or just useful, please subscribe to my channel and put like and so I know that you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, you can put some of them under this video or you can contact me. All contact details you can find on my channel as well. And I hope maybe in the future we'll see some of your students. Agreed. So take care, guys. Bye. Thank you very much.